hello <laughs> what this is i feel shy i feel like i'm a new person since the last time you saw me i guess i am <laughs> hello everybody hello my loved ones my loved youtube community how have you been oh and hello if you were totally new and just stumbled upon my channel and wondered why am i being weird I have just been a wall for a while as I got a baby back in March. I gave birth to my daughter, Ada, <laughs> and haven't posted anything since. So it's my first video since I gave birth and I have so many things to show because I have been knitting, not much, but it's accumulated into this pile. And I'm nervous to talk, but I will slowly get back to it slowly get back to make videos again. I will start today with this podcast because I want to show you everything that I made and I will talk a bit more about my new, I don't know if you remember, this is a new space, like when we moved, we moved, this is a new location, so have a nice drink, settle in, let's get back into it. Yeah, let's get back to where we got off. Shall we? <laughs> okay. Oh. I was just re-watching a little bit of my um, my last video where I'm super pregnant and super puffy in my face and I realized I have changed so much. Like I really have changed so much. So this is now five months past postpartum five months since birth yes and I've changed so much like my of course my belly is gone my baby is out <laughs> and my body is yeah, I feel so good again I'm back to being me all right when I just went I don't know if it's annoying if I bounce I'll just try to stop and see how it works so there's been almost two weeks now since I recorded last time. Didn't work out that night. She woke up um, and then I just didn't get started again. But now I'm trying again. She's sleeping here. <laughs> so I changed my outfit, of course. Not wearing anything needed right now. And I'll just get started. I haven't knit much for my daughter one or two sweaters for her and a cardigan that's like almost it I think and one bodysuit yeah and this is one of them Ta -da! this is the Herald sweater by Petit Knit it's not so great I think it's like way, way too wide and compared to the length but that's how it turned out the yarns are mixed yarns, but dark blue is like a llama silk from... I have it written down. The name is just llama silk, I think. No, but Yarbo is the name. Yarbo. 70% baby llama, 30% burret silk. Yes, that's the one. And the lower one I got from Martina from We Grow Wild. She knitted the, uh, she sent me this yarn. Um, it was like also a perfect baby yarn. I don't remember the name anymore. And the red is also just some kind of scrub yarn that I don't know the name of anymore. But it's really soft and really nice. I made her that. She has worn it already, being way too little in it. But this winter will be perfect for it. I will make more for her. Future. So I'm just going like chronologically the oldest first. So this is the oldest finished knit. And I have more things that I finished. So gift knits, I make that as well, but not as much anymore. So the next one I made for myself. It was a part of a test knit, my first ever test knit for Pau Knitte. She's called Pauline and I lived the city that I lived recently. So I knew her from the cafe where I worked in and I followed her on Instagram and saw that I wanted to try to test it. 
and the yarn is Suri Alpaca. So I have like mixed of colors, so it's mostly one strand Suri Alpaca and two strands mohair, silk mohair, or two strands Suri Alpaca because it's more thick. And it's all my Suri and silk mohair leftover scrap yarn. See it? Mm, so funny. So fun to knit. And it has these nice stripes and this um, eye cord bind offs. I love that. It was fun. I haven't worn it much because it's been spring and summer, but also something for the winter. <laughs> so, yeah. So, mix all the colors that I have and turn out really great. Really fun. Really fun. I had the perfect setup that evening where I was filming. I really wanted to work out. Didn't. But now it's working out. Okay. So, I have a t shirt that I made for myself in some yarn that I got gifted from dear Maisa. She gifted me, she was the first person to ever send me something and she sent me this linen yarn by Linen Love. Maybe I should show the things before I talk about the yarns? I will. I have two things knitted with her yarn because I've had the yarn for a long time and this doesn't have any buttons so it's really hard to see. Ah oh yeah, the skein tee. You would probably know it as Skagen, Skagen tea or something, but it's Skein. G is soft in Danish words. Oh, in this case it's a Norwegian. But she is Skein is a part in Denmark, the most northern tip. Like when if you know Denmark it goes up in the middle, it's like it has a really tip. That's called Skein. And this tea is called Skein tea. Um, normally has buttons in the middle. You can't really see, I'm sorry. Maybe it doesn't count as a finished thing then. Don't have any buttons. This is the yarn from Maisa. Hi. Hi. My leaf is still. Yeah. And this yarn was called Linen Love. Was it? Yes, Linen Love and from Sweden. I have from Finland, like a yarn from Finland. Finish this. So it's like, I think it's, yeah, 100% linen and it's like really soft and drapey actually. And I love that the skeins were like 100 gram instead of 50 gram, as always, mostly. What about a little hell team to go so? Half an hour nap. That's how it is sometimes. Are you scared? Mm. You see yourself? <laughs> she can see herself in the mirror, that's why we're laughing. Hey. My boobs. In boob in the mouth. So next thing. That is also with yarn from Maisa. But I dyed it. This is very cool. The helix pullover. Nothing. The helix pullover without arms because I didn't have enough yarn for it. <laughs> she can't see herself. Um, so it has this net. And I dyed this, it was beige yarn, and I dyed it black. Because beige was just, it's getting a little bit boring in my life. I have too many beige things. It's by Jessie May Design. And I want to make it again because it's so fun. It has so beautiful details. The shoulder details. And this, this lace was so fun. Okay then. Let's get back to it. Wearing this new so I can show it better. I love this detail where you start in the back and she, she has a really nice, like, 
short row shaping, like the short row, German short row way of doing it before the pattern, before the lace starts. So, so amazing. I love it so much. I haven't worn it yet, actually. Yes, as it was beige, but now I'm gonna wear it today. And then I made another top, also in this thicker yarn. So, wait a minute. This yarn is from Drops. It's a Moulin. Yeah, it's a great yarn. And that's also from Misa. So Misa gifted me this and the green linen yarn. So I'm really loving these plant-based fibers. Especially because I love this lightweight, because wool is often too hot for me. So I'm getting more into the whole plant fiber thing again. Oh yeah, this is really great. Really great. And then, in this theme, I made this one, because I want more color. I want less beige and more color. Black is also okay, because I don't have any black things at all. But this top is a little bit too tight around the neckline and the body, at the bind off. But I made it myself. I drafted it myself, the pattern, to get some more color. It's very right on. This is a yarn called, I have it in another color here, Tukline from Sentness. So Tuk means thick. So it's a thick one, four needle size. Five. And I used also five and four for, for the rib. So yeah, everything is a little bit too tight about this one, except for the body. Like this is okay, just this is too tight and this. So I have to change that. Change that. And it's this three by one rib, three pearl, one knit. And there is no shapening, like no short rows. Yes, I did this. I started with the pattern that I have best number four or something by my favorite things knitwear. This one that has button in the front. I used that pattern for this back just to start. And it's just you cast on these stitches and then you knit it and you know you pick up some new stitches here and in the other side so it little down the shoulders it's okay but this one for this one it's best ever and I will use that if I self draft a pattern again because this was very great so I'm just gonna use this as a base next time I didn't put it on much that's why it's too tight but this is fun and it will change like change up my wardrobe a little bit with colors so linen yarn it's yarn it has linen uh, 53% cotton and 33% viscose and 14% linen, so it's mainly cotton. But that's, that mix makes it just this perfect drapey and not see through because I got the right gauge. So the baby is with the team, and that's why I'm able to be here. And then I made another summer top. This is also summer top. It's like a ripple bralette, changed, inspired by Martina from We Go Wild. She made this beautiful razor neck on her, I think you call it a razor neck or a boxer neck or something. And I want to do that too, and I did it. And it's actually the same color, I think her top was also yellow. This is a yarn from Hobby Yarn. I used two balls of yarn, or one. I think one, it's like this rainbow cotton. That's what it's called. I think it's one that I used. Less than one. I was afraid that it's the one thing that's hard with these ripple bralettes because it's from the bottom and up. So you need to decide when you start here how much yarn do I need for the cups and for the back and for the straps. It's not a lot, but I'm always afraid that I don't have enough. But I have like a, this ball left of this, I think, of the yellow. And I used one. And it's 60% bamboo viscose and 40% cotton. Rainbow bamboo from Hobby. It's a Danish brand, but you can order it. But this yarn was fun and okay. I have this two balls of this orange. I don't know if I can make a t-shirt with it. I hope so. I want to try. Because it has a lot of yardage. It has like 100 gram of yarn and 250 meters of. So meters is... I have two of these. Let's see. 
I was thinking of making the Anchor's Tea by Petit Knit. This is a Raven Bralette, love those. And I made it on thicker needles, a little bit like a DK Way yarn, but she also has a pattern for DK Way yarn. I only have the fingering way yarn pattern. Works. I love them, they're great. And then before the last big one, I have two small things two scarves, two brown scarves. This scarf is called the Easy Peasy Bandana. I've made it before. I just needed it for me too because I've been gifting the most of them. Tiva has two and I mean, yeah, it's just a brown. Brown, really nice, basic scarf, bandana scarf. And it's made with a cashmere, compatible cashmere by Knitting for Olive that I had. So if you've seen old videos of mine, this is the yarn. This is, I finally got started on this. Hi baby! Oh. That yarn I've been trying to, I was trying to knit a top with it and then I ripped it up and this is what came instead. I really love it. It's super soft. Super soft. And that was on very thin needles. 2.5 millimeters. By the way, needle size, I always say in needle size and meters and all that, I always say that in European version. I'm not gonna, sometimes I'm gonna try and do it in American, but. And then I have a Sophie scarf, very weird and wonky. It's in a, it's in a cotton merino yarn, also by uh, Knitting for Olive. By the way, I think now almost so the vest and this and the other scarf is a part of the um, make along that Martina and Ali are making. Ali from Ali and Sweatpants and Martina from We Grow Wild. They both have podcasts and they're making this make along that goes on for a long time and it's called Adventure in Stash. Wow, I'm still I still got it. Because this is a long time ago that they started, I think. And all these things are from things, from yarn that I had in my stash. So this, and the vest, and the other scarf, and t-shirt, and this one, I, all, I had it all in my stash. The blue and the yellow was new, but... Yes, and now the last thing, the last finished object, and we will make it into one video, all of this, I think. So. This is a sweater that's way too short because I didn't have enough yarn. <laughs> but it's good for breastfeeding, I thought. But I don't know if I'm gonna use it like that. But this is really beautiful and I might just buy a new skein of this yarn. It's um, The yarn is called... The brand is called Jeltholt Ullspinnerie. So I think it's Handwerksgarn. It's a Danish one. I'm gonna write it down below. And the colors are the Suri Alpaca Silk, no, Suri Alpaca, this thick one that I use also in the vest. And this is the Terrazzo sweater by Petit Knit. So if it would be long, it's nice too, right? But I do breastfeed and I will, I intend on doing that for as long as we both want it. Um, so it might probably be really good. This one, I was knitting on it on the day that my birth started like on the first contractions that I felt I was sitting on the te on the balcony I still have a photo of the yeah I was sitting on my sunbed with a blanket and I was knitting on this and the day before we had been on a hike like I had my friend she was staying with us before during and after birth and we went for a hike the day before and I was 40 weeks and two days, or three days, maybe, five days, four days over, yeah, it was four days over, like, don't mean over, I was just four days over that date that they thought it would be, you know, so it was perfect, she came when she was ready, and I was sitting on, and knitting on that, and I felt those slightly con contractions coming and thinking, this might be it, because I had it a few days before, like, sometimes these little mini ones but and it was actually it so in the evening it was really going rough it was really getting started <laughs> but I was thinking on this weather and I will never forget that 
yeah during birth I didn't knit at all like I think I tried to continue with that one and I just remember I also had a piece of cake and it was standing on the floor and I just couldn't eat it as in the first contractions I was just like too much in a what space like is this really how it's going I really thought it was not going to hurt so much because I've been practicing and been watching a lot of videos so I was a little bit like oh so it really does hurt <laughs> yeah but I breathed through it all and had an electrical pillow warming my my belly and my back like going back and forth and I had my partner and my friend giving pressure on my back and my pelvic pelvis it helped a lot I don't know if you know want to know more about my birth experience I could make a video about it or just tell about it in my vlogs okay let's get on to the whips work in progress just in case you're new and you don't know it I was in the beginning of my podcast journey and watching podcasts I was like what the beep is these whips everybody talking about the whips like a whip so it's work in progress short for it's gonna be a chaos just like this video has been a chaos from the beginning I don't know I'm gonna start with this smallest one here no the oldest one are you ready I think it's one of the oldest ones the baby blanket I was planning on do you remember I wanted to finish it but I didn't because it's much more bigger than I thought it was I didn't plan it plan on having a huge blanket or shawl for myself I wanted a baby blanket maybe something like this but this is like triple size <laughs> I'm probably gonna be happy with it but I don't know if I'm gonna so it's like a triangle now and it needs to become a square so I'm halfway through now so that's the first triangle and this is the second triangle <laughs> oh my god you can see here I don't change the color as much I'm just gonna keep it flowy and it looks very much like a Waldorf kindergarten project right I love it <laughs> I didn't go to Waldorf but um, this is a lot of different yarns all the softest yarns I could find I don't want to talk about them it's too many I still have some colors left like four balls in here but I need more but I have more and um, we'll see maybe for the next baby huh so yeah that's a web old one and then if you really also still if you have been here a while you must know this one it's a cardigan still ongoing it's very active this whip I'm, I'm working on it like this arm is almost done I was watching uh, this Bridgerton series uh, about the Queen I was watching and I was knitting both the sleeves very quickly and then it needs the bun band and this is the Novice cardigan by Petit Knit and the colors are just some silk mohair rest leftovers that I had so it's drops kit silk I think and this one is from Yatagan it's like an alpaca naturally dyed yarn I've talked about that many times. Very active at the moment. Really want this to be done. Oh, this is because I am trying to finish all my whips at the moment, my old whips. So I'm just going to show them all. Maybe it's gonna be like the long video too long, but you know, you know. There's another cardigan. It's called Levitate Wrap. By my favorite things that wear brown 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 very beautiful has this it's like two browns together making this beautiful beautiful texture and this beautiful shoulder detail and this beautiful thing I just want it but I'm not knitting on it in the moment actually this one I haven't been knitting on for a while I think since we moved here I haven't been and it's two different alpacas 
also from the Adagan that I'm using. A thin one. A pack of 400, I think, just the name of this one. Yeah. They're nice. Both very nice. And it's gonna be like a wrap. You just, it's like really long and you wrap it around. Komolo's tea. A needle size 3, which is just going too slow for me. But it's beautiful and I want to have it done. I thought I was going to wear it all summer, but you know, summer is over now. It's the end of August now. And we're here, still have summer a bit. So it's going to have eye cord edges, depending on how much yarn this will be. I have this one and there's this one. And there will probably not just be enough for the body. I was planning on long sleeves, but I'm gonna make short sleeves. This is fun. And this yarn is from Isaya. It's organic linen. It has a Danish name, Hör. Hör is linen. And it's very thin, 100% linen. So it's much more stiff, stiff than the other yarns that I had with linen. 50 gram and 178 meters. For me, Sarah. The color is called indigo. Oh, I didn't know. I love it. I love it. Good. My three, three most recent whips. Here we go. A thick plant-based yarn, still in the theme. I bought a lot of these ones on sale. I think I have 10, and this is also the Tuklina that I showed before, in a lila. If you've been here before, you will wonder, like, what is this color? But I've been into lila a lot. I don't know if I will like it on me, but I'm trying to get colors, and I like the color, so I buy it. We'll see how it will be. And this is the Ernie sweater by Vitre Design. It's like a rib, double rib, double rib sweater with a long neck. I don't know how the neck will stay now that it's a linen yarn, linen viscose and cotton. But I love it a lot. And it's gonna have long sleeves and be a little cropped. And if there is a yarn left over, I will make something for my daughter with it because. Yeah, she also has a lot of purple things. That's why I love it, and maybe because of the retro things from my childhood that she has. They are, a lot of them are purple because I think my mom loves to look purple. There's a lot of purple things. Having a lot of fun with this. It's on needle size 5, 5.5 5 millimeters. Oh, here, yeah. USA 9 millimeter. Uh, 9, size 9. It's very fun. Goes quick. Yeah, fun. Very fun. This one I love. But I'm having a little break with it because I have another fun project. I had this yarn also in my stash. Alpaca wool. Alpaca yarn. Wool. Wool. Wool is the same word for wool. I bought four of them where I lived before on sale. Making a really, really normal scarf that I love. It's like 2x2 two two ribbing as well. And it's going to be a really nice scarf. A long one. I love the color and this is what I knit on every morning at the moment. I sit, we have like two of these gymnastic or yoga balls to jump, to sit on, bounce on and one of them is downstairs and one of them is upstairs. <laughs> so I sit on one of them each morning and when she's, it's time for her second nap and I knit on it with her. Last but not least, I bought more colorful yarn. Oh. It's gonna. It's gonna call for attention. But it's nice. I really like it. It was. I'm practicing just. The yarn that I like, I just buy it without thinking too much about if it fits with some of my clothes. Because I have jeans now, I have jeans shorts. My old one, they were broke, and for a long time I didn't have jeans shorts. So I always had shorts that were colors or something and they were difficult to match my knittings with. And now I finally found some really nice 
jeans, shorts again, and they, I mean, everything fits with it, I feel like. This is gonna look really cool. Um, this is the back, the back of the t-shirt. This is the basic tee by Spectacle Strick, Danish knitwear designer. This is the back. And it's just gonna be a very normal basic tee. And um, this is some new yarn, so this will be a smooth transition into the next theme that is newly bought yarn. Yeah, not, not much more to say. Ah yeah, this yarn, exactly, I bought this new yarn. Six balls of this yarn from Rauma, Rauma. Pilini is the name from Rauma. It's like a Norwegian na yarn, I think. Yeah. And um, it's 50% uh, Pima Bomul, Pima cotton, and 50% linen. 102 meters and 50 gram. For needle size 3 and 4. So it's perfect. I'm using 3.5. It's okay. I was like, again, no, not a thin project again, but I need also some things and thin because things are just beautiful so I have to do something things sometimes this is it six balls of this Rauma yeah and this is what I started yesterday actually did this yesterday it was fun and I have more yarns that I bought new I ordered this brown unspun yarn unspun yarn from Lopi. Pluto Lopi. This is so beautiful. And it smells like real sheep. And I have four plates of this. Four? Four plates of this. And I bought this mohair, silk mohair from Sentness. And these together are going to be. I don't need a cardigan by Petit Knit. I'm gonna knit this together. I know it's a brown again, but it's just beautiful. And that cardigan. It's gonna be so beautiful. And I need something with all my colors that is not so wild to put on top. And the Onidi cardigan is like a brioche kind of stitch. I don't know why I do this, but like a thick. And um, I love it. It's so beautiful. I've seen it many times now and I want to make it. We'll see. It will be a winter project. Once I've finished two other cardigans, I can start on it, but not before. That's what I promised to myself. And I like also just have it tidy. I like to have all loose ends bind it off, if you know what. But as a knitter, I think that's a problem. You always want that, and then you always start on new things. But I'm being very slow about starting new things. The scarf is quickly finished, and Okay. You should have seen before. It was many things. Um, so, one last thing before I will tie this off. This video is this Lana Crossa Seta Pura. I bought this the other day together with this on sale. Her whole shop was on sale. Gan shop in Denmark, Umro. And this I bought also in Umro, but at Knit happens. I love that shop so much. It's like a little knitting cafe. Okay, and then, yeah, this shop I love too. She has great yarns and she had like sale on a whole boutique, and this is 100% silk. And I have another one from Isaya, which is similar color. Mm. This one. This is the Bumulin by Isaya. And those two together, I think, will be fine. I have already put them, like, they already put on a knitting needle, but I never started casting them on. So this is like a mess. This is a mess. But I want to start on it. We'll see. Yeah, this is 200 meters and 50 gram. I don't know what it should be, but I want it to be something beautiful. Maybe a top. I have a lot, a lot of tops, but it's a chaos in here. And at the same time, it's quite okay, everything. Not such a big chaos as I thought it would be. Having a kid, having a baby and being an knitter. I'm, I'm like grateful for all the options I get. 
to knit and also now that my partner takes the kid out for a walk that I have the house for myself and I can talk and rent I do that also when they're here but yeah that was all this has been laying around here for two weeks because I started for two weeks ago filming so some of the um, whips they wandered to different rooms but now I got it all collected and on the camera and I'm gonna edit and hopefully post it soon I mean when you watch it you will it will be online of course but um, thank you so much for waiting for me if you did thank you so much for finding your way to my channel and I thank you in advance already if you like or give me a comment let's see where this new me takes this channel let's see what happens let's see what let's see what I'm gonna make yeah how much time I will put into it and I'm gonna try I really want to share I have great things to share I live in a beautiful beautiful place in a house we have a garden we live close to the ocean so there's things I want to show to you and share with you and I will <laughs> yeah I will <laughs> Nothing more than that. I will and I love you all a lot. I've been thinking about you so much in this time. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I've been missing you. And now I'm back with new energy and in a new place and with new projects. And let's keep knitting, crafting, or whatever you're doing. Maybe you're also just watching whatever you're doing. Welcome and thank you for being there. And ah, see you soon again. <laughs> Bye.